friends welcome back to my channel so in this video i will be giving a review of the 19th match of the ipl 2023 between kolkata knight riders and punjab and uh, sunrisers hyderabad so the match was actually played in england against kolkata on 14 on 14th april and so the toss for this match was actually won by kolkata knight riders and they actually elected to bowl first and uh, Sunrise Hyderabad actually batted first, so they actually started with their innings with Harry Brook, the opener, and Mayank Agrawal, and they actually started really well. And uh, Harry Brook actually was uh, particularly aggressive, and he actually hit a lot of uh, boundaries and sixes in the first few hours itself. And they actually had a run rate of around uh, eight to ten runs per over. And in the fifth over, they actually reached the score, reached forty-six. Uh, out of this, uh, Mayank Agrawal scored only nine runs, and uh, the rest of the runs were actually scored by Harry Brook. So the first wicket for KKR came in the form of Ayan Kagwal. He was dismissed by Andrew Russell, uh, caught by Varun Chakravarti for nine. Of he scored nine of thirteen balls. The next batsman was uh, Rahul Tripathi, and uh, Rahul Tripathi also could not last much. He was dismissed in the fifth over uh, when the score reached fifty-seven. So Rahul Tripathi scored nine runs of uh, four balls with two fours at a strike rate two twenty-five. His wicket also was picked by Andrew Russell, caught by Ramanala Grubas. And the uh, next batsman was uh, the captain Aidan Makram, and uh, he actually, along with uh, Harry Brook, actually had a good partnership, and they actually played well, and uh, they actually he maintained a run rate of around eight to ten runs per over, and they actually took the score from around fifty-seven uh, in the fifth over to around one twenty-nine in the thirteenth over, so they actually had a run rate of around nine to ten runs per over, and. Um, Both of them actually hit a lot of boundaries, and um, Makram was actually particularly aggressive. He actually scored around fifty uh, runs in this partnership of twenty-six uh, balls with just twenty-six balls with two fours and five sixes. I just like that one ninety-two. And uh, so the third the third wicket actually fell for uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad. That was Makram uh, when he scored which one twenty-nine in the thirteenth over. So he actually helped uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad to reach a uh, good total in the thirteenth over itself of one twenty-nine. So from there, there was a good chance for them to build a solid foundation to win a score of over two hundred. And um, so, Makram's um, wicket was actually picked by Varun Chakravarti, caught by caught by Andrew Russell. And then after the dismissal of Makram, Abhishek Sharma also joined Harry Brook, and they also had a partnership. And uh, they actually uh, took the score to around two not one in the eighteenth over. So they actually played around uh, from around five overs. And they actually scored around seventy runs in five overs. That is, they actually had a run rate of around fourteen runs per over. So uh, they actually scored around seventy runs. Uh, and that uh, the partnership out of out of this thirty-two uh, runs were actually showed by Abhishek Sharma. He scored thirty-two runs of seventeen balls, three fours, and two sixes. At a strike rate of one eighty-eight. Abhishek Sharma was dismissed by Andrew Russell. Uh, so Andrew Russell, this was Andrew Russell's third wicket uh, caught by uh, that wicket was picked. Uh, uh, Abhishek Sharma was out caught by Shardul Dakhla on the bowling of Andrew Russell for thirty-two. So in both he could uh, score three fours and two sixes. And uh, the final batsman was uh, the next batsman was uh, Hendrik Clausen, and uh, the, he actually played uh, with uh, Harry Brook in the final few overs. Uh, in the last over, Harry Brook has completed his injury. See, he made a well-made injury. He remained not out in this match. He made a well-made hundred not out of fifty-five balls with three, twelve uh, fours and three sixes at a strike rate of one eighty-one. And Clausen remained not out of sixteen of uh, six balls with two fours and one sixes at a strike rate of two sixty-six. So uh, most of the players actually, except uh, Mayank Agrawal, the other party played well in this match to uh, take Sun uh, to uh, help Sunrisers Hyderabad reach a very great, uh, good total of two twenty eight for four, almost undefeatable total two twenty eight for four. And uh, the top scorer was Harry Brook, hundred of fifty five balls, um, Macram fifty of twenty six balls, Abhishek Sharma thirty two of seventeen balls. And regarding the bowling of uh, KKR, Umesh Yadav, all of the balls were expensive. Uh, except Sunil Narayan, uh, Sunil Narayan was a bigger bowler. He still took four for twenty-eight of his. Uh, he took it. He took his four was meant for just twenty-eight runs at an economy of seven runs per over. Andrew Russell's uh, it, uh, bowled two point one overs. He went for twenty-two runs, but he picked three wickets. And Varun Chakravarti was actually his four was meant for forty-one runs, but he picked one wicket. And Suresh Sharma's four was went for forty-four runs at an economy eleven per over. Shardul Tagore bowled only five balls, and he went for fourteen runs. Ferguson was the one of the most expensive. His two was meant for thirty seven runs at economy eighteen point five per over, and Umesh Yadav was three was meant for forty runs at economy fourteen runs per over. So all together, a good batting performance. Some guys either was they had a good chance to win this match. They were able to uh, get wickets of uh, KKR, and if they bowl well, they have a good chance to win this match easily. 
So this KKR actually started the innings with the wicket keeper Ramanal Agrabhas and uh, Jagadish Narayan and they actually had a disastrous start when they actually got the lost the wicket Ramanal Agrabhas in the third ball of the innings. So that wicket has actually taken by Vineshwar Kumar caught, uh, caught by um, uh, Ramanal Agrabhas but dispensed by Vineshwar Kumar caught by Amran Malik for a duck, the third ball. And the Vengresh here actually joined the Greece and the, he actually, he also could not last much and the score reached 20th, 20 runs in the third or fourth over. Vengresh was dismissed and uh, he was dismissed for 10 runs uh, by Marco Jensen caught by Aydin Makram, the captain. Vengresh has scored 10 runs, 11 balls and uh, then uh, the Sunil Narayan came as a night watchman and uh, as a pinch hitter, not a night watchman. He also was dismissed when the score reached uh, uh, 20. He was dismissed in the next ball itself uh, for a duck. Uh, using the uh, uh, that wicket also taken by Marco Jensen, caught by Aydin Makram. So, uh, still, uh, KKR actually struggling at 20 for 3. Then the captain uh, Nitish Rana came to the Greece, and Nitish Rana and Jagadish Narayan played well, and uh, they actually had a very good partnership. Uh, so, they actually were scoring at the run rate of around 8 to 10 runs per over. And uh, they actually hit a lot of boundaries and uh, they actually took the score to around uh, 82 in the ninth over. So 82 in the ninth over they actually had around, eight, around 8 to 9 runs per over at that time. When uh, KKR lost the wicket of Jagdish Narayan, Jagdish Narayan was dismissed for uh, 36 of 21 balls. With, uh, with, uh, by His wicket was taken by Maya Markande caught by Glenn Phillips for 36. He scored 36 of 21 balls, 5 for 1, 6, at a strike rate of 171. So after the dismissal of uh, Jagdish Narayan, uh, they actually, uh, the uh, Andrew Russell came to the Greece, but Andrew Russell was also dismissed uh, by um, Andrew Russell was also dismissed when the score reached uh, 96 in the 11th over, the start of the 11th over. And uh, so uh, they were actually having a run rate of around 9 to 10 runs per over at that time. So Andrew Russell was dismissed uh, by uh, my Mark and Decode by Marco Jansen. So this was the second, uh, this was the second wicket of my Mark and after he picked with Jagdish Narayan. And uh, then uh, Ringo Singh came to the Greece and Ringo Singh and uh, Nitish Rana, the captain, had a good partnership and they actually took the score to around uh, 96 or 5 in the 11th over to around 165 in the 17th over. So they actually almost scored around uh, 60 runs, uh, 65 runs in this partnership, 65, 70 runs in this partnership and they actually had around 10 to 11 runs per over and they actually helped uh, KKR reach the score of around 165 in the, 17, in the start of the, in the 17th over. When uh, they actually Nitish Rana was dismissed, so he was actually dismissed in a crucial uh, time. So Nitish Rana scored 75 runs, well made 75, 41 balls, 5 balls and 6 sixes at a strike rate of 182. His wicket was picked by uh, Natarajan, caught by Washington Thunder. And after his uh, dismissal, uh, Shardot Takul came to the Greece and joined Rinku Singh. Uh, Shardot Takul was dismissed, but unfortunately the record run rate was very high at that time. At the dismissal of Rinku, uh, Nitish Rana, at uh, when the score is 165, they actually still required around uh, 50 runs in their own three overs. Uh, 50, uh, almost 28, almost uh, 61 runs in the span of three overs. Uh, that was a very hard task. Uh, scoring over 18 to 20 runs per over is a difficult task in an IPL match. Around 10 to 12 runs is okay, but 18 to 20 runs is a difficult chase in an IPL match. But uh, uh, Shardul Tackle came to the Greece, he actually scored 12 runs of 7 balls at 2 fours. He was dismissed by, his wicket was actually taken in the one nine, uh, when the score reached 197 in the 19th over, in the start of the 19th over. And uh, actually KKR ended with uh, 2 not 5 four, 7 at the end of 20 overs with Ringo Singh many not out in 58 of 31 balls. And uh, so, okay, actually, uh, the Sunrisers Hyderabad, having scored a uh, good total of 228, won this match by 23 runs. And even though there was a good fight back and a good chase by uh, KKR. So for KKR, actually Jagdish Narayan scored 36 of 21 balls, uh, Nitish Rana 75 of 41 balls and Ringo Singh remained out of 58 of 31 balls. And uh, regarding the bowling of um, Sunrise Hyderabad, uh, Bhuvanesh Kumar went 4 overs went for 10 runs, he took 1 wicket at an economic 7.25 per over. Marco Jensen uh, took 2 for 3 runs 4 overs at an economic 9.25 per over. Natarajan was expensive, he took 1 for 54 of 30, uh, 4 overs at an economic 13.5. Umran Malik went to, uh, took 1 for 36 of 2 overs at an economic 18 per over. And Mara Mark and Vesipka, the bowlers, he took 2 for 27 4 overs at an economic 6.75. And Washington took uh, 2 overs two went for 20 runs. So altogether a good batting perform, altogether a good uh, Perform batting performance by Sunrise Hyderabad helped this uh, to win this match by 23 runs. So 
on account of his uh, impressive uh, century run uh, score of 100 not out uh, harry brook of sunrise hyderabad uh, that just the man of the match of this match so a good performance by sunrise hyderabad to uh, take two points in this match against kkr so they they are actually a good side and actually playing well now so they need to continue this moment if they want to reach the semi final stage of this ipl